right next to the other one would be great. We could do a size comparison. Hey, what's going on yet again new video and another cadillac <laughs> it's getting to be a a theme uh 60 coupe de ville really nice car um uh, so we're making it even nicer by putting it on the ground um we've already got most of the fabrication done because you've seen this on a couple of vehicles already but let me give you a quick tour of it and uh then we'll get it together and get it on the ground and show you what you really care about all right, so this one is staying drum brake. We're going to be going through those just to make sure everything's solid. Uh, we've got the lower plates already welded in over the original spring perches. We've got our shock mounts already welded in over there. And up on the frame, pockets are already cut, clearanced for the fittings. All the same stuff we did on that 60 hearse and on the 59 pickup flower car whatever. Um, threw some undercoat in here just to kind of clean everything up, make it all black. Um, so fronts are basically ready to swing back up into position and bolt down, and then we can install shocks and run airlines. Uh, moving to the back. Same deal. Um, uppers are drilled out for the half inch all thread that we'll be running through there. Lowers. We cut away the factory welds for the spring perches, and then they already have this handy dandy centering hole on the bottom. So we'll be running a 3 8 stud up through that, through the lower plate and into the bag. Um, so yeah, this is basically ready to reassemble. We've got Ride Tech shocks, Slam Specialties bags, and then uh, we'll be running 3 8 airline all the way through. Um, and then we'll get into the trunk and engine bay and Got a few surprises there, so that'll be the real fun part. But yeah, let me uh, turn the camera off. We'll get going on the, the work and then we'll revisit once everything's bolted together. All right, we got the suspension basically all together. A couple little pieces left to put on, but for all intents and purposes, we can show you what we got going on here. So we did Ride Tech shocks, front and rear. Uh, the rears are uh, specifically made for 58 through 64 Cadillacs. So you can look those up real easily on their website. The fronts are specific to our shock brackets. Um, so I can put the part number down in the, the description here. Uh, rear bag brackets, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, only difference is uh, on this one, the upper spring perches were a little bit thin from rust, so we actually put a six and a half inch diameter plate just to sort of reinforce and spread the load. Just make sure nothing ever cracks or, or fails. So other than that, just basically stock location for springs, just replaced it with our bags and brackets. Uh, moving up to the front, let's get up there. All right, there you go. You can see... Ride Tech shock on our shock mounts. 
and trimmed out spring pockets and got the bags in there on on our perches uh, we still need to put the front sway bar on i had to order in new sway bar end links so those just came in yesterday evening we'll get those bolted on and then i think we're ready to button this thing up we do have to run the airlines and wires um, from the battery and from these bags out to the back and then just set up the trunk and we'll be all set um, while it's here we're going to pull the brakes apart um, it felt like it was pulling a bit to the right when I drove it uh, around the block before we racked it. So we'll just make sure everything's in good order and uh, there's no, no damaged parts or anything. Hopefully just an adjustment. Someone's been in here fairly recently. It's got new brake hard lines, new hoses. So hopefully that means uh, good news for what's inside here too. But stay tuned. We'll get, uh, we got the wheels back from the tire shop. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty close to leaving. So, all right, we got some weather coming in. I'm gonna pull some cars back inside for a bit until that passes. And then uh, hopefully next time you see this thing, it'll be on some wheels. All right, let me show you what we got going on under the hood. Pretty standard stuff overall, but on this one, it got some nice little engine dress ups. So we got some Offenhauser valve covers go over to the driver's side because it's not obscured at all. I imagine those are pretty rare. So we threw those on with some new gaskets. We've got this nice chrome air cleaner, just kind of dresses it up. And then as usual, we did the PowerMaster alternator conversion. So it's got a little more output to keep up with those uh, uh, compressors in the back. Um, 100 amp breaker and four gauge feed wire from the alternator to the battery so we can keep this thing nice and charged. Other than that, pretty straightforward stuff. New plugs, new wires, new cap, new rotor, the basics there. And then we gave it a, a bit of a cleaning, degreasing. So we'll see if he wants to do anything beyond that in the future. Um, engine bay is ready for it. Inside the car, open it up for you. As you can see, we've got a really nice original looking interior. I'm sure those seats have probably been recovered. I don't know if that's factory material, but definitely complements the exterior color nicely. We just brought the cable out from under the seat as usual. Other than that, this thing is bone stock and really nice condition. Other than that, not much to look at in here. It's a nice uh, power seat and power window car and most of it all works so I think it's a really good start for him to build up on it but yeah I love this old styling look at the isn't that neat I love it okay now let me grab the key oh I'll show you what I'm really proud of it's back here So we did a similar setup to the Continental we had in here last time. Um, but we had the tanks matched to the exterior color. We did some hard lines and uh, just kind of took it a little above for this customer. He's brought a few cars our way and I wanted to make this one special for him. So there they are. Seamless 24 inch tanks, fire 485s hard lines and an airlift three P system. Clean and simple. I'm sure once he gets these trunk mats all detailed out or gets a new trunk kit or whatever, this thing will really, really pop. But we got it as set up for him as we could.